Hello guys, welcome to my tutorial, Mr.NET is here. In the next tutorial I want to, to explain the entity framework with uh, SQLite database provider. In the first video I show the setup for a SQLite database with the entity framework. So the first thing I have a project, a .NET Core project. It's a console application and I need two packages. Packages. I download it in the package manager. The first package is the SQLite for entity framework, the Microsoft Entity Framework Core SQLite package. And the second framework is the tools framework for the entity framework to migrate and update the database with the with the command line. So the first thing what I need is a context that is represented in a class. The context is called maybe person context it's a public class what inherit from the DB context context yes a context represents a season with the SQLite database and in this context I have to override a method to set up the database it's a protected method override void the on configuring method with the db context option builder this method does uh, is doing nothing if you does not overwrite it into the subclass and SQLite is easy to 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 set up because I have a simple connection string with data source and the name of the database I call it test data base English so that's my database the next what I need are entities and entities represents tables in the database so I create a class called person this person has an ID Um, the member with the ID inside is the primary key. In the next videos I show you more about the primary key and how you can do that. But for the first tutorial to connect the database it is enough. And the other column is the name and the set. set. Yes. And we have to to, to add the, the entity into a context with a public DB set and the type person, the table name, persons, yes, that's it. Now I can use the command line to migrate the database. How's the comments at migration initial create? Okay, at migration, migration initial create. Yes, 
build started, build succeed, and the entity frameworks creates an initial create class and a snapshot from our database. After the migration, I can use the update the database command. Update database. And I get a. Oh, that's wrong. That's not right. Ah. That's not right because the name has an extension DB. DB. Yes, now I had my database and I use the extension, the SQLite SQL Server Compact Toolbox to show the tables in my database. Yes, here is my database and my table persons and we see the, the database is empty. To connect the database with my program initial add something into database I using a context instance database Just a second, yes. New person context. And with this instance, I can do database operations. So I add a person into my table. That's the only en entity what I have in my project with the name. That's the name. The ID is automatically inserted by the database. Database save changes. So. Now I start the program and, and I get an exception. No such table persons. Why is that? Um, because the working directory and the project directory are different at runtime, so he didn't find the table. I can add into my property group in the MS build XML file a new element and the element is called start directory start working directory yes with the property ms build property directory and now i start the project I get an extension because I have to rebuild my project. Second chance, uh, no such tables, persons. Okay, it's MS build property directory. MS build property. Oh, that's not a property, that's a project. Project. Sorry, rebuilt. Yes, finished. And now 
if I look into my table, yes, I have the ID 1 created by the database and the inserted value name, that's the name. So now I have connected my database with my project and in the next videos I show you what I can do with the entity framework. If you like this video, subscribe the channel and give me some feedback if you need more information or if you have some other other informations from me and the community thank you and see you next time bye